are at Capuz Ratu, where it all started for the BA European Studies 20 years ago. Today, I will be interviewing two of the founders, Tana Liblom and Arno Labri. People came to us uh, to get informed about the program. I thought, well, maybe nobody will be coming. And at the end, a uh, hundred people came the first time. No, more. More? Even more? 130. Uh, I'm Arnold Labry, uh, and I used to be a professor of social and cultural history at this faculty between 92 and uh, 2020. Tan Blom, I'm a professor of the field of European studies. My chair is dedicated to theory of European integration. And I was that because by now I'm emeritus professor. Okay. Pensionado, so to say. Yeah, we are here for the 20th anniversary of the BA European Studies. Uh, but maybe for you it started already earlier than that. When did that actually happen? Uh, we were already working, I think, uh, a few years with uh, political culture. Uh, Europe was, of course, an important item uh, as part of that specialization in arts and culture. Then around 1998, uh, uh, the faculty started to get some uh, financial problems. We had a lot of personnel, but not enough students. So uh, they started talking about, uh, we need a new study program. A uh, committee was installed. Um, and out came, as a possibility, European studies. Uh, the program was back then designed to be in English or in Dutch. How, how did you come up with the idea? Uh, to make it really European, you need also an international staff and international students. And I went to them and we, we talked about it and half an hour later we had solved actually all our problems because no competition within the faculty, no competition with other programs. Uh, the board of the university was very much in favor of internationalization. Well, here you have an English spoken program. Uh, yes. It solved everything. Did you also have non Europeans coming? Ah, oh, yeah, a lot. They come from, All over for the example, world. Yeah, South Korea, Thailand, even yes, China. Yes, so, yeah. Yes, yes, yes. And do you know where they are right now, the first uh, alumni? Uh, a lot in uh, Brussels. Brussels. A lot on, uh, on European specialized institutes, for example, in Berlin. Uh, at local or well, regional governments and some, of course, uh, academics. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, that was uh, a lot of information from the program. Uh, so thank you for answering uh, the questions. Do you have anything else you would like to add, maybe to conclude? Something it that we missed? Been, uh, it has been fun. It has been fun. Sure, yeah. yeah, yeah. Great. And now that we have discovered about past, let's fast forward to the present. We are at Grotegracht 1992 and today I will be meeting Esther van Vlois, Sophie van Honenker and Christine Neufroth. Yes, I'm Sophie van Honecker. I'm a professor here at the faculty. I have a chair in administrative governance. I work mainly in the field of EU external relations and I joined the faculty in November 2001 and I was also recruited at the earliest, early stage, just before the European studies uh, started and uh, we were together a very nice team together with Tanneli and Arnold in setting up uh, European studies. Uh, my name is Esther Versluis, I'm the head of the department of the politics department and a professor in European regulatory governance and I actually also studied here as a student oh. a long 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 time ago. Yeah. Thank you. Hey Christine. Hello, my name is Christine Neuhold, I'm the dean of the faculty of arts and social sciences where we all work and I have a chair in EU democratic governance and I joined Maastricht University and European Studies in 2002 to set up European Studies together with these two ladies and also Tanneli and Arnold and others. So um, I've heard from someone that they would call you Tanneli's angels. <laughs> Could you elaborate on that? It's of course in analogy to Charlie's angels, which I've never seen. We just thought, you know, we are Faso's angels, Tanneli's angels, and of course we are three, so that, that was easy enough uh, to be made up, but we talked about it again today, <laughs> so it is something that is alive. It's alive still. <laughs> yes. Great. So I'm curious to know, how did the BA European Studies evolve in the first years? 
No, it, it was a, a great moment and there was a lot of positive energy and we were really thrilled by the fact that so many students came to Maastricht. We also had a lot of German students at the time that were joining us and, and of course there were all new courses that had to be taught and then in the first year we also had to already develop the courses for the second year. Yeah, we, uh, we already quickly moved to, uh, to a steady state of between 250 and 300 students and I think, uh, well, we have had that for a, for a very long time, so also now roughly uh, around 300 uh, first years coming in each year. And obviously the, yeah, the, the number of nationalities uh, that we currently have in the programme, it's, it's much more diverse than in the, first, uh, in the very first year. So we see that the BA uh, is a huge success. Uh, how do you cope with all of this success? Well, I think um, it's a big success, first of all, because not just because we attract a lot of students, but I think also because we see that our students are getting interesting jobs. I was recruited from abroad to, to work here. And from the beginning, I felt like I came home. Um, so it was always a very close-knit community. And we've been working here for more than 20 years. Um, and I think we managed to keep that spirit uh, alive. People really like to work at this faculty and within the program and we seem to also give that uh, to our students. So what are you most proud of from this program? If you could highlight one thing, what would you say it is? I think I'm most proud of uh, the well, the, the, the nice working culture that we that we managed to yeah to sustain here at FASOS uh, where uh, colleagues really enjoy working for the program and I think this, this benefits uh, the quality of the teaching very much and I think also part of, the, of the, yeah, the ongoing success of the program is because of this, that it's such uh, yeah, an, a nice spirited team of colleagues who, who together feel very responsible for, for making this program work. Could you envision European studies in the next 5, 10 or even 20 years from now on? and uh, would it still be with the same values as you just mentioned? Sophie and myself, we are currently running new electives in the third year mm -hmm. and we thought about this a couple of years ago where we, where we thought, okay, we need to set up electives that, that are, well, uh, event-proof, if you will. So the elective that I set up is called uh, uh, Regulating Crisis in the EU, where students uh, select their own ongoing current crisis and they want to analyze then how the European Union is responding to that. And that's a type of elective that can run for many years because you can just update it you to uh, any, any new crisis that is happening at the moment. Yeah. Is there anything I forgot to ask you, something relevant about the program that you would like to share? No, I think we are very proud that the program exists for 20 years and so we are <laughs> looking forward for the next 20 years now. And more. And more. <laughs> Thank you very much.